back over at Sherwood Park. Um, I don't know why I'm coming back here. All I found was nails, but I did a little research about the lower bowl here. It's all actually called Calcivic Reservoir, and it used to be filled in with water, as I was explaining last time. And I found some aerial maps um, that shows where the football fields used to be here, and I thought I would try to figure out where the center is and maybe do a sweep down there. Last time I went all the way across and back, found mostly nails, one one penny. But um, I'm kind of curious why there was really old nails. One one was a square nail too. So I don't know if you can see this, but here's the aerial map. You can hopefully see the football fields there. So I think I'm going to try to find the center and just go back and forth there. So wish me luck. Well, just about six feet into the hunt, got the first nail. Woohoo! Well, we're getting a pretty strong mid-range single signal right here. Some aluminum. Another signal. Uh, probably another nail. Precisely another nail, but pretty much like the ones I found before. Why are these old, old, old nails out here? I mean, out in the middle of this. Some chunk of, uh, Steel or something. Another real old one. They're all kind of half bent, but it's hard to tell if it's square or not. Well, it's another nail, but it's a granddaddy. Just wonder how old those are. Look at that. Curious, curious. It's a beautiful pull tab. Look at that. Woohoo! It's a screw. Curious, curious. See, this one definitely looks like it's got like a square head to it. Unless it's just beat down, I don't know. Looks really old to me. Well, this is an odd one that's still saying it's down there. So, some piece of scrap metal. Pointer's still saying there's something over here. And there it is, a little screw or something. Both in the same hole. No idea what that thing is. Second exciting pull tab. Woohoo! Hey look at that. First penny. I'll try to see what year it was but it's too corroded right there. But I'm all the way to the other side. I was just going to stop and take a Gatorade break. You can see how far I've come. A couple, good football field length and a half or so. Well, just getting my first silver reading right here. Well, another penny, just a couple feet away from the other one. This is 1978 Denver. That's a copper one. That makes three pull tabs. Oh, ho, ho. well, look at that. I decided to stay over here, kind of on this grassy bank, 
and five and a quarter. It's a 2006 commemorative uh, Nevada. Hey, that's 27 cents. Ah, foil. From a bottle. Got another silver copper reading. No wonder the thing was going off in a huge white area. Look at that. <laughs> Big old chunk of metal. Dying. Well, another silver. Another quarter. It's a 2003 Denver Mint. Hey, that's two quarters. Awesome. I'm on a roll. Another quarter. Check it out. It is a 1990 quarter. I think that might be the oldest quarter I've found so far. Cool, cool. And it's a twin billing. Two dimes right next to each other there. Ho ho! Very cool. I think one of them says 1991. I can't read the other one. But that was pretty awesome. Found them right next to each other. Ha ha! A battery. Oh, first one of those I found. <laughs> Funny. Well, this came up as a silver copper. I'd like to get up over a dollar, so let's see what maybe this will do it. And it's a penny. 1974 Denver. So close. It's 98 cents. It's another silver copper. Let's see if this one will do it. And there it is. It's a dime. 1997 Denver. All right, I'm over a dollar. I think I'm going to call it a day. That was pretty cool. Just pretty much along this bank. Still bikes way over there. But it would make sense. If people are playing down there. They'd probably be sitting up here watching the games. Awesome. Well, I thought I'd just scan this bank over here. Went back at the bike and found this uh, top of a fence post. I just found the other piece just a little bit over here. Rang up as silver copper. But since it rang up as that, I thought maybe I'll find some more change, but that's kind of interesting. Well, definitely had an interesting day at Kaselvik Reservoir, as I now know it's called. Was expecting to find any coins, but went way over to the other side there and found over a dollar and found more nails out in the middle of the field there. What they're doing there, I have no idea. But uh, pretty pint worthy day, I believe. We'll go home and lay it out, see what all, all I got. All right, here's today's find over at Kasalvik Reservoir, also Sherylwood Park. A uh, dollar eight, mostly found over there on the bank. All the way across, lots more nails out in the middle of the field for some reason. Found that big chunk of metal over there on the bank too. And the opposite bank where I started by the bike, came across this fence post. Found the, uh, this broken piece first, and this is a couple feet away. And what wouldn't be metal detecting without finding some ring poles. All right, and a battery, found my first battery. It's a pint-worthy day.